Hey guys, what's up? How's it going? Today, for the rest of uh, Halloween drawings, because this is a seasonal channel and I normally update only in October, I'm going to try every now and then to, uh, at least from now to Christmas, this will be like a different segment, I'm going to put up some, some that are related to both, you know what I mean? Maybe like a Halloween, uh, like Nightmare Before Christmas characters, those are both. Uh, maybe a few Peanuts characters, those are kind of both. Uh, you know, things like that, like that sort, maybe like Evil Santa, you know, like a Halloween, you know, movie about Christmas. Um, so I'm going to be doing stuff like that from now till December. So that's about, what, two months-ish? Uh, well, end of December, maybe Christmas. Uh, after that, it'll probably really be really low, but I'm going to keep it going a little bit. I would like to keep it going. So thanks a lot, guys. I appreciate it. Let me start with drawing Oogie Boogie today, if you remember that character Oogie Boogie from uh, Nightmare Before Christmas and I'm gonna make him just like a really you know interesting version of him. He's a potato sack. I'm gonna use this Sharpie marker. Uh, all you need with a Sharpie marker is to have this kind of pointed edge, pointed tip at least. And also uh, I'm gonna be using two colors. He is a potato sack. I couldn't quite find the exact kind of like I don't know what he is like brownish you know slightly yellow brown. Uh, so I'm gonna use this gray this is a warm gray and then just a butter, a peanut butter. And this is a Scholastic brand and this is a Rose Art brand. Just to kind of get all those. Let's do the line art first. So obviously he's shaped like a giant gingerbread cookie, to be honest. That's the way I see him. Uh, do this in a ventilated area because this is very toxic smelling. So let's kind of get started here. So. So let's let's get into it. I'm gonna start with his face. Well, you know, I'm gonna start actually with his body first. And he's got like a potato sack kind of, uh, obviously potato sack is pretty much what he is, but almost like a gingerbread cookie body. As his feet are touching the ground, I'm kind of flattening that out. You know, to show that there's, you know, kind of a ground, like it's, it has weight. He has weight to him. Pull the other hand here. Around the top, I'm gonna start going into his head structure. It's basically like a Patrick star. <laughs> yeah. And there's a lot of flexibility with him because he is a potato sack, you know what I mean? I could make that thicker if I want. I could make this even more thicker right here and then make this part of his potato, potato sack, you know, stitches. Pulling the stitching on this side as well. Basically, I'm following along the side and running it off. This is just dashes. Sometimes you can do an X, sometimes you can do straight across. You know, that's the way he was destroyed, remember? Spoiler alert. You can even do it down here. Make this a little bigger. And change the proportion and do that. And see, it's a very, very simplistic body. You can do it any which way you want. Sometimes he has a giant gut, you know what I mean? He had a, you know, it depends. Uh, his face, it's going to be a little bit more distinct. I'm going to mark the edges of the smile. He's a point toward the middle. And it kind of curls up at the end. I didn't follow that. I, I actually overshot my limit that I set for myself. lower part of the mouth. I'm gonna cut I'm gonna actually fill this in with marker for his mouth. It's obviously a little skinnier version of him of Oogie Boogie, but it's kind of like more stylized. His eyes are just giant triangles. I'm going to make one bigger though. 
like bloated triangles. And I'm gonna throw some slashes over here representing the stitching he has in his mouth. I'm just gonna shoot it through. I'm gonna draw through it because I can do that. It's entirely black filled that area. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna grab the gray like I talked about. I'm gonna use gray for him. And not fill him in entirely but I'm gonna go over here, kind of where he has an angry, like er, where his eyes would furrow, his sack would furrow, and just kind of like over here down here as well. The light source would be coming from above. I could lightly fill the entire thing, and then darken the darker areas of him, of his like sack, of his potato sack. See, so I'll darken it under the arms, under the leg here. This really is getting some sort of light source. And just kind of fill in the rest, maybe. Maybe underneath his mouth, right here. Give him a little bit of a darker, you know, like it's rolling off there. Rolling off back of his little top of his head. What I'm going to do is I'm going to lightly coat the rest of it. Like I said, I was using a Rose Art brand colored pencil and it's warm gray. I can make it even. I can kind of go over the whole thing really because I'm not going to leave a ton of highlights or any really. I wish I had the more potato sack color. Kind of looks too much like a ghost. What I could do is go over lightly with this peanut butter, which is essentially is just brown. I go over really lightly. The two colors create a sort of a uh, little bit more of a dirtier look. Let's go over it lightly. It's light, but I'm going to fill the whole area. Whole area. I'm going to come back in there. And what I'm going to do lastly is I'm going to, with the gray, I'm going to throw a shadow here under him. So he's standing up. But you know what I mean? He doesn't... Um, you know, it's just him essentially standing up, a little bit of a skinnier version, uh, a little bit more stylized. So that's about it. That is Oogie Boogie from The Nightmare Before Christmas. Um, you know, I'll do probably another version of him as well, you know, maybe with marker or something. But thanks a lot, guys, and uh, I appreciate it. Please subscribe to the channel. Also, check out the main channel for most of the yearly down, um, the stuff I'm posting through the year. And please donate to my Patreon. Thanks a lot, guys.